Real estate is one of the best investments that someone can make. Most people consider that buying a home is probably the largest investment that someone will make. And there's a lot going on when you're thinking about purchasing a home that is not going to be your primary residence. When you're looking at buying investment properties or maybe even buying a property where you will live and then this will become an investment property. Well, in today's video, I wanna break down some of the considerations. We're gonna make this very simple. I wanna break this down into the who, what, when, how, and where. And within those five items, we'll be able to have a better idea on how you can prepare for purchasing a property as an investment. All right, first on deck, we have who. It's important to think about your strategy. If you're looking at buying multiple properties in the future, you may wanna consider purchasing the property in just your name. Like for example, if you're in a married couple, you can, there can be advantages to purchasing in each of your names to qualify for better terms and to better build your portfolio. So when you're starting to think about investing, first think about who is going to be the borrower. You might be in a situation where you're the only investor and this is not as much of a question because, well, you're the one buying. But at the same time, if you are in a couple or you're thinking about investing with other partners, start to look at your strategy and talk to your lender about what might be a better way to leverage and purchase more properties in the future. Next up, we have what, meaning what type of property are you thinking of buying? Are you looking at buying a condo and, and renting this out? Again, maybe you're gonna buy this as your home and you're gonna live there, but the idea is that in the future you wanna rent that property out. Sidebar, if you're purchasing a condo, make sure that you look into the guidelines to, uh, with the association to make sure you can rent that property out. Also, maybe you're looking at buying a multi-unit. Maybe you wanna buy a two, three, or four flat, and you're gonna live in one of the units and rent the other units out. You wanna to start to consider what's your strategy again? You know, What type of investor are you? Are you looking at something where you might create cash flow? Uh, maybe you only wanna buy one property to make your rent cheaper, right? Again, you, you buy a property, you get some roommates, a single family home, you have multiple bedrooms, you rent them out, rent out those bedrooms to your friends, or again, maybe you buy a multi-unit, you rent those other units out to pay for your rent, and your goal is just to do that while you get through school or something of that nature. But I think when you're looking at this, you wanna to start to consider what type of property do you wanna buy now and also consider what type of properties do you wanna buy in the future. Where is very important. You wanna consider your game plan. Where are you looking to invest? Are you familiar with the area? So as you start to prepare to invest, you wanna do some research and figure out where the property location is that best fits your needs. So you might be looking in areas where you can leverage your cash. For example, when I bought my first investment, I, I looked at a multi-unit and it was an area of Chicago where the price of the property versus how much we were getting in rent was, was great in compare, like the price of the property was the same, was half what I would pay in a, what was considered to be a better neighborhood, but the rents were almost identical. They're both great neighborhoods, but they were just different, different uh, people living in these neighborhoods. Like one was more young, geared towards like younger, demographics of people looking towards nightlife and where I invested were more working families. And again, the rents were great. So you wanna make sure you start to do that research. Think about where you wanna invest and also think about the long game. Is this somewhere where you think that property will be beneficial five, 10 years from now or however long you plan to own that property? So where is very important when it comes to leveraging your position and making sure that you're getting, again, are you looking for appreciation on the property? So where can, be a factor if you're looking in areas where you want to see rapid appreciation or and, and that comes into play based on you know how long you're going to hold the property but then where is also a factor based on what you're looking for for your cash flow are you looking for a property that will generate income immediately or has that future potential so when you're looking into investment properties where is incredibly important now when you're going to do this is also very important perhaps you're making a plan for the future you're looking at this for a year from now or you know, maybe you have to move more immediate, but at the same time, you wanna think about your timeline on this. So when I was buying properties, it was, it was fairly easy for me. I've been a professional musician my whole life, right? So out of a need for being able to play drums because drums are loud and that's what I do, so I, I wanted to play drums, I had to find a place where I could do so. Well, I got lucky because what I would do is I would always call, I would say I would follow the artists. So I would go to the, the areas where you they're usually up and coming neighborhoods, right? So these are areas where I could buy and you'd get a better price on the property, more house for the money. And you'd be in a position where you're surrounded by uh, your friends and other artists in the community, other musicians. The best part is those communities tend to grow and become very popular because well, the artists bring all the cool stuff. They bring in the shops and the restaurants and then those areas will, will grow and become profitable. So that's always worked really well for me. So as I was going through and I was thinking about when it was more of a need that I needed a place to make noise right away. 
For you, you want to start to think about that timeline, start to study those neighborhoods and make sure you know when's going to be the right time to make the move. Now for how, timing is everything. You want to prepare financially. When you're going to think about how you're going to buy the property, this goes back to the first item of you know, figuring out who's going to be on the loan and how you're going to finance that property. But there's some other steps that you can take. Be proactive. Look at credit monitoring services, making sure you're keeping an eye on your credit. The higher the credit score, the lower the interest rate, which means the cheaper the money. Also means that you may be able to qualify for better loan programs because you have that higher credit score. So go through and make sure you're looking at your credit rating and how to improve that. Talk to a professional. Talk to a lender. Get a pre-approval in place. You can get this done for free. When we set up our pre-approvals, we do this using a soft pull on the credit so there's no hard inquiry. We can help our clients prepare for months, years in advance without any risk. And this type of preparation will save you money. You also want to start to look at your spending habits, right? So how is going to be based around, well, how much money do you have to put down? What are you going to be using for your down payment? Where's that money going to come from? What are you going to be looking at as far as what type of money do you have for reserves? Keep in mind, when you have a, a rental property, let's say you're buying a multi-unit, if you're depending on rent from those other units to pay your monthly note, you have to make sure that you have enough money in case something goes wrong. What if someone can't pay or what if you have vacancy for several months? Just look at the, look at the how so that you know that you're better prepared. I'm going to throw in a little bonus here for you and we're going to go with why. You want to think about why you're doing this and I think this will help you when you're creating your strategy. Are you looking at building a portfolio? Do you want to create a lifestyle where maybe you're able to generate passive income? I mean we see a lot of information out there, everyone's living the dream. I, I quit my full-time job and now I live off my investments. It's a lot harder than most people think and it's a lot more work. But at the same time, you want to have a better understanding of why you're doing this. What are you looking to accomplish? Again, maybe you're just looking for a place to stay while you're in college. But regardless, why you're looking to invest in real estate will help you determine a better way to take advantage of the other questions of the who, what, when, where, and how. So Hopefully this information is useful. If you like this information, remember to like and subscribe and we'll share more information about real estate investing and other moves within the real estate world.